Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 19th of February 2020. Thank you for joining me. I'm using the amazing Glastonbury Tarot for today's reading. And you can see Glastonbury Tor here. Glastonbury is the heart chakra of the world. It has such amazing energy when you come here. It's in Somerset. All the other little villages in Somerset seem so normal. And then you come here and first of all, there are people from all over the world. The healing chakra, the energy attracts loads of people like myself. And it's unlike any other town in Britain ever. It's a magical place. It really is. So I'm so glad to be using the Glastonbury tarot while being in Glastonbury. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of. Oh, and these cards were a major investment. They're out of print. I remember I had to go on Facebook and meet up with this with this lady at a cafe where she where she <laughs> so that she had um a few extra ones so I acquired this one it was a real mission so let's have a look at what these cards want you to be aware of today and I'm not using reversals Ace of Staffs, the Glastonbury Thorn, the Six of Chalices, Union, and the Seven of Chalices, Fantasy. All right. The Ace of Staffs, we've had that previously, recently, and the energy right now is all about fire, joy, enthusiasm, passion, drive, energy, light, positivity, growth a new start, a new beginning. The Glastonbury Thorn is uh, an amazing tree that they've got here, a couple of them. And they blossom at Christmas and at Easter. And it's because the tree's from Israel, I think, and the seasons are different there, so that they've brought this tree over and it's still blossoms in the middle of winter here when it's pitch black and Easter as well it's usually not that warm yet so it's a very it's based on the story that Joseph of Arimathea he came here with the staff the holy thorn staff and he put it down and it grew roots and it's stayed here it decided to claim this place as its own so there's no shortage of energy passion desire the six of chalices a union with the tour behind them purple and blue pink and yellows it's real love it's joy this is a union of two people who really really truly understand and love each other so there's no even though in terms of astrology, we have a Mercury retrograde, there's no misunderstanding here. And the seven of chalices is fantasy. We can see someone in this white cloak, so very ethereal, very, very abstract from the real world. They live in this beautiful garden kind of thing. And these seven chalices are floating around and each one is a dream now this figure usually we've got these these dreams in a cloud and a darkened figure just picking one and we've had that as well recently but today in this deck we've got the figure actually choosing a cup it's the cup of love i guess it's blue Oh, it might be the chakra system, root chakra, sacral, um, solar plexus, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye or third eye, and then crown chakra. So you're choosing the communication chakra. There are no obstacles in communication. You've got huge energy and drive to start something new. So the answer and I don't have to warn you about falling into this emotional pit 
of looking at your options and just fantasizing and and kind of looking at what you've got and really just being not productive and insular. I don't need to warn you about that today because you wake up, you have a clear goal in mind. You have huge energy to achieve this goal. And you have people who are on your side who will enable you to make the fantasy a reality. And what comes out of that is union. So like Joseph of Arimathea, he had a staff to put the staff down on the ground and for it to grow roots and immediately turn into a tree is pure fantasy or it's a miracle. And it's because the staff realized it belonged here in the heart chakra of the world. So the staff decided to sprout its own roots and to stay here and not to be with Joseph of Arimathea anymore, but to live its life here. If you decide you want to start the new business today and you put the energy in, you will create the union between fantasy and reality and you're able to produce something in the real world which you love. Oh, what a great day. What a great day. You're not up, your head isn't up in the clouds. You are picking and choosing something and it feels right and it just feels natural. It's not even this explicit process of choosing. You just wake up and you're fired up about one specific thing. And you may question yourself, if I do this one specific thing today, am I going to succeed with it? Or should I put it aside for another time? Or am I too busy? I can't do it today. If any of those questions or doubts come up, or are people going to laugh at me? Am I going to screw this up? Am I going to be embarrassed? If any of those doubts come up, you know you're on the right track because that's the ego trying to put you off. So the ego, if it fills you with doubt, just feel the joyous, powerful energy and just sit with that feeling rather than paying huge attention to this negative voice that says you can't. There's so much light here today anyway that there are no shadows really. All the shadows are blasted out of the way and it's life and you're full of life. And because you have an imagination, you don't just, you know, keep regurgitating the same thing that everyone else is doing. Because you have a fantasy and a spiritual life of your own, you can claim something that is uniquely yours. And with the divine energy you're being given today, you can really create something wonderful that is either literal, full of love, so it's a relationship, and you kiss under the tour at twilight. Or you create something that you love. And it's a union between you and the canvas, for instance, if you're an artist. And you're painting your fantasy and you're capturing it on a canvas. And the union of fantasy and reality creates this loving outcome. So the picture you're going to paint today is going to have a huge, loving, emotional effect on the people who view it. It's a really, really wonderful day. If you have any doubts about moving forward, don't doubt yourself and move forward. It's a great day not to overthink things. It's a good day to take action and to be practical. Number wise, in terms of numerology, we have an ace, which counts as one, then six, which is seven. Seven and seven, good luck anyway, but seven and seven is 14, one and four is five, and five is freedom. So by taking your fantasies and not ignoring them and saying, oh, these are just rubbish and everyone else has these fantasies as well and I don't have anything original, don't dismiss them. If you pick one, go for it and do the legwork today. If you're practical about implementing something that you want, it will be a union that will be there for a long time. This isn't just a one-off kiss.
They get each other, they support each other in life, and they're there for each other. So you can have something and create something that is there for you, that in the future you can return to or lean on. You see? So it's days like this when you have all this energy that you're supposed to build for the winter when there's no energy and you're supposed to store all the food away so that winter comes and when you're not inspired or weak that you have all the stock in place so that you can just grab it and eat it. This is one of those days where you're meant to gather and create and be practical. Have a lovely fun day. That's really what I see here that uh, amidst all this practicality, you can really, really enjoy yourself. The ace is a gift from the universe. So I hope you have a lovely day. If you would like a personal reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. If you have any questions, I can answer those for you in a personal reading. If you like the video, then please hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling really generous and you want to come out of the spiritual closet, then please share this video online with your friends so that other people get to see them. That would be awesome and I'd be ever so grateful. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.